for part two, guys. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Kindergarten 2. Saying that will never get boring. We are, of course, back for part two, guys, because, uh, you know, like go here. So in the last episode of this game, we learned that Kindergarten 2 is a much more, like, drastically massive scale as opposed to the first game, and I couldn't be more happy about that. There's a lot more to explore. We've got so many new characters. We've got new lessons. We've got new teachers. We've got new everything. We're gonna get into this, guys. You know what to do. Stand back at Tuesday again, as always. Now, if you guys didn't see the last episode, you should definitely check back, because that was basically the introductory to this game as a whole. And I feel like from this point on, I know a little bit more about what the freak I'm doing. Though, so, uh, you know, when I walk over to my shelf, I get what you guys may think I don't. Now, one thing we did find in the last episode is our first ever Monstermon card, and I think it was, like, these small squids or something like that. The tiny squids. That was a pretty decent find, and, you know, we're gonna find hopefully more for this episode. Another thing we also found was, if we go over to the cabinet here, we got some new dress sense right here, my dude, hold up. So I can swap this one out for the cook's apron, or I can go seasonal. Hang on a second, let me just check this out. Okay, I'm liking this. Hang on a second, let me try and switch these up a bit. Uh, all right, listen here, we're gonna rock the cook's apron for this episode. <laughs> there was just seriously so much that I gotta do with this game. Look, man, I'm going straight to school, let's do this. Wait, didn't I used to do like an odd catchphrase for this? Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Oh, yes, I am. I think I used to do something like that. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, guys, let's get back to school. So, we didn't actually complete the janitor's mission in the last episode, and I think I wanna actually make a start on that one for the most part. We read over most of this in the last episode, too. We learned that the new janitor coming over here does not like the look of this place. Apparently, it's filthy, and he wants to know the name of the brand new janitor. So he basically tells us to head on over to this dude here, aka Wreck-It Ralph. Hey there, kiddo. I'm your friendly school janitor. What's your name? Oh, how rude of me. I'm Bob. And that right there is Wreck-It Ralph's biggest mistake. What's his name? Come on, I got a declaration to draw up. It's Bob. So my nemesis has a name. Bob. We then learn about this janitor's code of honor, which is basically, uh, you know, as it says right there, killing him and then taking his mark. Janitor 1 writes out a declaration. We then head on back to janitor 2 and we got to give him it. But it's after this point right here, I couldn't figure out what we do. The other janitor wanted me to give you this. Oh, thanks. I'll read it when I get inside. I'm really looking forward to working with him. I doubt that. Yeah, big mistake. Monty goes on as well over that way, and we can't gain access just yet. Now, it was at this point here, which I don't really know what else to do, so hang on a second. I didn't try talking to this guy again. Has it... Dude. All I had to do was go back and talk to Janitor 1, and the mission would have began. Has it been delivered? Is war upon us? Yes, it is. Excellent. My attack will be swift and sneaky. As soon as he's alone, his mop is as good as mine. I'll be sharpening my mop in the boys' room. All right, bro, you have fun with that. And the bell rings. That's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. All right, now, we learned from this part on that the teacher has a headache, and I mean, you know, it looks like you've got a hair ache, to be honest. So here's another thing that I figured out from playing this, guys. If we go to the door, the teacher will not let us leave. Hey, you can't leave. I'm responsible for you little monsters. I need to use the bathroom. Well, too bad. I don't have the bathroom pass for this new school yet. You'll just have to hold it. You don't know like you can stop me. I can still give you a study hall. Apparently, that's a punishment for stuff, so I didn't read that. That is why in the last part, we didn't actually get to go, like, to recess at the end. We had to stay inside, I think. That was when we were with Bugsy and the dude with the laser cannon basically shot us in the forehead. However, I feel like this is mandatory, at least for this point here. We have to go ahead. Okay, we see Nugget. Nugget, get the freak back in the classroom, dude. So, this might be different, okay? We go over here. He mentioned being in the boys' bathroom, and we can see him right there, panting away. Way. Oh, good. You're here. You're happy to see me? It's a weird feeling for me, too. I need your help again or else I'm fighting a losing battle here. What now? Bob is currently hiding like a coward upstairs, and since my hip is made of glass, I can't make it up those stairs. What do you want me to do about it? I need a key to that elevator. I'm sure the little black market cripple has one. Bro, that cop, wow. You're the one who crippled him, and I'll do it again if that invalid doesn't give me that key. Tell him that and see if he'll give me it. He's in that special smart class upstairs. Okay, then. Ha. Huh. So, how are we to get right there? Okay, so this at the moment is brand new territory, so we have to get upstairs, but look, nope. this dude is stopping us, so we have to try and find a way to persuade him. Hold up, new kid! You're only allowed to use the bathroom, nothing else! I need to go upstairs. Too bad. Unless an adult says so, you aren't allowed up here. You need to go to the bathroom or back to class, no exceptions. But the janitor, if the janitor wants you to go upstairs, he can come and tell me himself. It's your funeral. Bro, so we actually have to go back to the janitor now. Let's let him know. Did you get me that key? The whole wanted to stop me. That grimy, power-hungry, come with me! Dude, we're following the... Hold up a second. What's he gonna do? Hey, all right. You give my little arrow boy trouble? Rolls are rolls, Mr. Janitor. If you want him to go upstairs, you'll have to. I guess I'll just beat you like I did the other kid. Then you would have an elevator key. Excuse me? I said I could beat you till they give you an elevator. Oh my goodness. Um. Yo, dude. Hey, you're the whole monitor. Yeah? Man, what? Whoa, is that the same guy as last time? Whoa, jeez, you totally wrecked Stevie. And I'll do the same to you if you even think about stopping this kid from helping me out today. Got it? No problem. Do whatever you want, kid. There, it's taken care of. Okay, then. Um, shall we? 
<laughs> got that new outfit though right there. All right, well, thanks, Stevie. In doing this as well, we've got the rest of the hallway to ourselves. Hold up a second. So there's a door here. That's to the gym. This one, door to the cafeteria. It's locked. There's an elevator, so we have to help him up. Hold up one second right now. If I go this way here, nope. we can't go anywhere. All of the doors are locked. Dude, we're going straight upstairs. We're going to the second floor of the school. We've got a vending machine. We've got an elevator here. Lockers. Take a look at these. It's locked. Well, it's a locker. It should be. This vending machine is filled with school supplies. Only the scissors look useful. Buy the scissors or buy the pass book. Don't buy anything. That's very interesting that there's a lot more possibilities here. Okay, let's check around. So, oh, the girls' bathroom is here and we have the science lab, I guess, here then. So, let's see. Perfect. Monty's there. Okay, we're looking for a key though, right? Why could we find this key? Let me talk to this guy here. You do whatever you gotta do, man. Getting you in trouble isn't worth getting beat to death with a mop. Good call. Yeah, I like your style. Let me check all these lockers. Last one here. All the lockers are sealed tight. We can go in the girls' bathroom. That's where the janitor is. Bro, why they got a sofa right now? Hold up a second. The legends are true. There is a couch in the girls' bathroom. There's a monster one card between. Dude, I got a new one. Chair of spikes. Yeah, let me check the trash a second. Just what I expected. I thought, that, you know, there might be a... Okay. Hold on, though. Let's talk to Ralph a second. Oh, hey, um, kid, that, that letter you gave me this morning, it, it was a joke, right? You write that yourself, right? I can't read or write. Oh, no, that's pretty scary, but nothing some strong words can't work out. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. We can talk this out like adults. Good luck with that. He's gonna go and try and talk it out. Uh, he's come back. Bro, good news. It was just a silly misunderstanding. We're gonna do great work together. I'm sure you will. Another Monster Mon card. Uh, Mr. Nice Guy for that one? Here's a Monster Mon card for helping me work this out. And remember, it's always good to use your words. Okay. Uh, thanks. Uh, okay, now this must be the grate that leads from the science lab, I think. This Evan looks like it could be unscrewed. It seems to lead to the science classroom. Ignore that for now. So if we go to science class, we could maybe break out of that. Hold on, let me go talk to the janitor a second. Okay, he still wants the key to this thing. So that's the main objective. Uh, let me see. Bro, you got the key? Uh, okay. Yo, you got the key though? What the? You're not supposed to be in here, you stupid kid. Do you have the key to the elevator? Of course I I do. How do you think I got up here? The janitor wants it. The, um, the nice janitor? The other one. <sighs> just, just bring it back when you're done with it. I can't get down without it. I'll try. What are you doing in here? You're not gifted in any way. Get out. Get out, I say. Okay, the professor kicks us out. It's better than being shot by a ray gun, so I'll take that. So to the janitor, though. Well, where's the key to this thing? Here. Well done, kid. Here's a walkie-talkie. I'll be in touch. Great. This is great. I'll let you know how the mission goes. We ride to war. Let him ride to war. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't believe we're doing this right now. This is honestly one of the best games. I'm so excited. Go to lunch. I don't think you can make me. Please go. One of the wishes of the dying child will do exactly what he says. So, the janitor isn't... Was that... Is there... No way. Hey, kid. Come in, kid. What now? Things got a little, um, sticky. Get up here now. I can't. Yeah? Well, it'll be your last meal if you don't get up here right now. I don't think I'm allowed to leave. Well, one of the new kids in there must have a way to get out. Get up here now or I'll have another body to clean up. Okay, jeez. All right, so we have to look around here now some more. Monty, we never gave him back, so he have... Bro, hold up a second. We can go in here, everyone. What the? Kids aren't allowed in the teacher's lounge. Get out! We can access the teacher's lounge then by, I guess, going this route. Interesting. And we know the professor leaves as well after a certain amount. I said, one of these people's gonna have a way to get out of this place. Let me check here. Wait, maybe the principal's daughter. Let's check with this first. Hold up. I just love making new friends. They don't seem too thrilled to meet you. All right, bye. That wheelchair man boy was supposed to meet us here. I wonder where he could be. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, yeah, nothing to do with me. Felix says I'm not allowed to talk to anyone unless it's about business. Sorry. Hey, new kid, how are you liking the food? How do I get out of here? Looking to cause some trouble, eh? I can draw the lunch lady's eye away from the door for a fee. So that takes out five dollars, but this might be the only way. Hold on, let me hold off for one second right now. Let's talk to the other people. All right, checked out with everyone else. She's the only one. Five dollars is five dollars, dude. Let's go. Right, we'll cash out on the fee. You got it, kid. This won't last long, so get out of here while you can. She runs over. What does she do? Hey, Mrs. Margaret, look at me. Please, child, sell down. Return to your seat immediately. Okay, now we make a break for it, dude, and we get the free cow, and we're all good. Bro, why are you that? Get out of my way. Hey, Oh, it's you. Yeah, I guess I'll let you buy so I don't end up like King. It's for the best. Aye. What did I just say right there? Like, either way, we're going upstairs. So what happened? We've got Monty here, so we need to help him out. Hey, kid, what the heck is wrong with you? What are you doing up here? You took my elevator key, so I can't get down to lunch without it. Where is it? The janitor still has it. Okay, that's it. I've had enough. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he wasn't messing about that ray gun that he had attached to his wheelchair. Okay, don't talk to Monty. Straight to the girls' bathroom. Here we go. Janitor, 
What did you do? Finally. Jeez, kid, you move slower than a kid who was knocked out of a tree under suspicious circumstances. I'm here, what do you want? Well, in case you hadn't noticed, I won the war. Congratulations. I appreciate the support I've had from my allies. That's you, kid. Which means we're going to have to clean this up together. Clean up? Well, yes, I am the only janitor. It would be nice to have someone help me out around here. You just killed your help. That's not true. You're my help now. Although there is still time for me to kill my help, so keep that in mind. Okay, so what do you need me to do? I'm gonna get started mopping up this blood. You run down to the weapons closet and get me something to slice up old Bubbo here. No! This God, is getting please, insane. No. Second of all, the janitor just eavesdrops the fact that this place has a weapons closet. So let's ask about that first. The place where we janitors store our weapons. It's in the boys' bathroom. You're gonna slice him up? Of course. Look at him. He's a big boy. Normally, I don't deal with big ones because it's harder to remove the bodies. So go and find me a cleaver or chainsaw. Or okay. Here's the key. Old Bubba here is learning how to share now that I've won the war. I'll be back. Well, what the heck am I- Oh my god. Goodness, I'm going to have to check in the rear with it. Oh my god. Bro, she just saw all. Nope. Nope, nope. <laughs> Well, that was easier than expected. All right, so avoid Monty. We don't want to talk to this dude. Wait, look at the blood trail. That means nugget in between. Wait, did he go back to the classroom or outside? That's interesting. We'll stick with the mission for now, but there is all these new side objectives slowly popping up. So we go back to the weapons closet. Okay, this is the door to the janitor's closet. Unlock the door. What goodies can we find? What the? That's a battle axe right there. Okay, that is our first time if ever I've seen it that this school is messing up again. Hold up. This vat is giving off some dizzying fumes. It's hooked up to a tube that seems to be running into the... This place is jacked up too, dude. Thank goodness for that. Yes, you just heard me say that. I love how the game has some lore. So that's the first sign that this place isn't quite right. What is this here? This is the janitor's cleaning cart. It looks like there's a monster mon card. Take it again. Are you kidding? Bucket of water. There's a chainsaw and a shovel on the shelf. We'll take the chainsaw. That's all we can really do. Though, I, I gotta literally observe this. These weapons are way too big for me to carry. The axe looks like it's been used recently. Okay. All right, so with chainsaw in back pocket, we're making our way back upstairs. We have to do this final step to stay on track. So, you know, excuse me, coming through. Inside we go. Yo, janitor, I got the good stuff. And that mop don't look like it's doing it justice. You said you wanted his, so, you know, why don't you try that? Either way, here we go. About time. What did you get me? A chainsaw. Perfect. Let's get slicing. Wait, wait, wait. Well, looks like you got skedaddle. I'll be in touch. Can't wait. Oh, before you go, take this. Now, get. Go. Bro, what the freak? There's like blood trailing to me. And then away, because I've got a head in my back pocket. Dude, I have to get rid of the evidence, right? I have a bag on me right now containing a head that has to go. Well, 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 look at all the bad children. I expect you all to behave until recess is over. Please take this time to reflect on how to be less awful in the future. Did you hear in them, Lowe's? There is to be no talking or moving until the bell rings. Is that clear? Say nothing. Clever bunch. We'll see if it lasts. All right, so we eat the apple. The coffee I had during lunch is running right through me. I'll be back in a moment. Do not move or talk while I'm gone. All right, my dude makes tracks right now. So... What else can we do? He's coming back in. Are you kidding me? Hey, kid. Come in, kid. We got a problem. Where are you? In study hall. You gotta hide that head right now. Find a garbage can and chuck it. There is one in the mess hall. What are you talking about? It's that little penny girl. She's been following you all day. You gotta hide that head and stop her from getting up here. How do you know that? Some kid in the hoodie just came up here and dropped an envelope on the floor. He had pictures and everything. She's been following you, kid. What do I do after I throw out the head? See if there is some way to trip her up on the stairs or on your way to the can. Get her to fall and break her head. Wow. How do I trip her? You're in that stupid class, right? Maybe one of those toys will do the trick. I'll see what I can do. Okay, well, do I take the money? Hold up a second. That uses an apple. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Hang on a second. There are a couple of toys in here. So it's the toy car or the doll. Now, if I take the toy car, that thing's got some wheels. So like, man, if someone stands, I think you can see what's going to happen. Some that good stuff is coming with me right now. So we can leave. Dude, this is insane. And look, still we got the blood trail everywhere. That is another mystery for another day. Should I place the toy car here? Yes, we should. Okay, that's a good objective. So how do we get her to follow us? Bro, hang on a minute. Hey, kid, what the heck is wrong with you? What are you doing up here? You took my elevator key. I can't get down to lunch without it. Where is it? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we've... Uh... Okay. All right, guys, so we're back to this point again. Now, the next apple you can see is for the principal's daughter. She won't be in that bathroom. Where might she be? Potentially at the end here. Let me see. This is the door to the gym. It is locked. Let's check this room out so we can go into the cafeteria. We're trailing through. Why would we need to be here? Like, maybe we follow it to this point? Double second. We can't go through this door. We're outside. Oh, no, you don't. You have study hall. I'm not dealing with you when I have all these other kids to deal with. Get back inside. I don't actually see. Wait, I see the girl right there. Fine. Wait, do I got to tell the Janice that? How am I to get her attention? Let me check back here a second. Okay, this place is barren as freak, though. 
Okay, nothing on the notes. Let's see what this is here. The vending machine has some good looking snacks in it. Don't get anything for now. We'll leave that. I'm looking for another Monster Mon card though. The vase has a yellow flower in it. We can take the flower and leave it. Okay, another thing I have no idea what for. And there's a microwave, which is something we can use for cold food. Okay, so what about if we eat the apple? Hold up a second. She comes back in. Oh, look who it is. She comes over. I thought you had... Is that Bob's head you have there? Uh, you know, I'm gonna be honest. She knows. You're just as awful as I thought you would be. You could not be allowed to stay in my school. I'm sending you to the principal's office. You don't have the... Oh, dear. The lights have gone out. I sure hope nothing... What the freak? Don't get sent to the... Oh my god. Okay, let me check over here a second. We have a bin. Can we- we can throw away the head. Hold up. Oh, look who it is. Let's see if this pans out different. All right, she's coming over. We don't have the head in this, though. You're not supposed to be out of study hall. What are you doing here? Looking for the bathroom, looking for the janitor, or looking for the teacher? Maybe, let's say, looking for the janitor, or should I say the bathroom so she trips on the stairs? Wait, if I say looking for the janitor, she might know that he cleans the girl's bathroom. Oh, really? I was actually looking for him myself. You wouldn't happen to know where he is. He's upstairs. Thank you for telling me. Now go back to study hall. I wouldn't want you to get in trouble. Okay, then. Listen. That's a good sign! Uh, kind of anyway, you know? I just heard what I can only assume is an evil little girl falling down the stairs. Seems so. Good work, kid. You remind me of me when I was your age. You mean before the war? What war? Boy, you are talking some nonsense. <laughs> now get back to that study hall place. That mad scientist looking fellow probably doesn't like it when the students escape from there. Yep, he knows something, dude. We gotta get out. Okay. What the f- Hold up. There's a pool of green goo here, at least towards the elevator. There is a solid glob of it on the floor. If I took the glob, I got nothing else I can do. I've gotta leave it for now. What is that about? That was the principal's daughter as well. All right, for now, listen, we stand back in spot and we eat the apple. Let me see. My apologies. Good to see you all behaving. We managed to get through it then. Oh, there's the bell. Anyone who pays their that So I can't do this. I have to go to gym today. Let's see what gym's all about. Oh, boy. <sighs> My life is ruined. It can't actually get worse. So what are we doing here? Trying your best to not look like me in 30 years. Go run labs or bounce that orange ball or something. I guess we can do that. I'm going to go stand over there and try to keep the room from spinning. I wouldn't expect anything less. Okay, I love our nuggets just like going to chill. Hey, kid. Come in, kid. What now? We're almost home free. I just need a little help with some of the um, heavy lifting. You want me to carry out Bob's body? Oh. Oh no, he's much too heavy for a small worthless child like you. I need you to carry out that power hungry hole monitor I tenderized this morning. That's not really my specialty. So you want me to carry Bob instead? Fine by me. Now look, we'll take Stevie. Good. I left him in the weapons closet. Meet me out by the dumpster behind the playground and we'll toss him in together. If I must. Alright, but dude, I can't probably get out, can I? I know I can. Hey, you little weasel. You're required by law to play. Now go play. Then pee in the water fountain. You're not leaving this gym. Gross. So there's got to be someone we can talk to in here who can help us out. Pop him with Nugget. Nugget is having trouble enjoying gym today. Why is that? Nugget's arm is missing. Oh, yeah. Let go. I want to shoot some free throws. Go get in line, new kid. The basketball is mine. Help Carla grab the ball or don't do anything. <laughs> Okay, who did it? Who threw that ball? It was the Jerome kid. He tried to take the ball from me, and when I tried to get it back, he just threw it in your direction. What? That's a lie. This kid came over and helped to snatch out of my hands. It went fly when they made me let go. Both of you, shut up. What really happened? Color is telling the truth. Bruh. That's what I thought. Jerome, do you know? Okay, I skipped that. Not more than the waistband on these shorts, I'm guessing. Okay, now I'm mad. Ow, hey, stop! Bro, screw this, I'm out of here. So he runs. If she follows him, this could be our break. Come back here, this is making me feel better. So she follows him. Now if we get out. Good work, kid. I appreciate the help. You think fast on your feet. No problem. So now she's playing ball. But I don't want to play, kid, so I'll leave you to it, all right? Nice shot. We can leave. So we broke out. Now, this is where I could take a sample of this if I wanted. Not going to touch that for now, but it still is there for some reason, okay? For now, let's get the janitor's roll done, dude. So we go back here. Oh, my goodness. We, look. Get back out. Bro, what the freak? Can I go through that? Let me do that quickly. Don't pass out, kid. Take this. This bag looks like it could fit Stevie in it. Take the bag. It's getting really hard to breathe in here. I'm not sure how much longer I can last. Right, get out, get out, get out. <sighs> All right, that was narrow, though. What is going on in the school? Green mist in the back from that container thing that we saw. So maybe there's a way to stop that beforehand. And then we've got like more free run back there. But for now, we've got to join the janitor. I think, was it this way here? It wasn't that way, but it's got to be maybe the front here. Hmm, maybe it's out back here. Then perhaps, hold up, let me check this back door. Nope. We can't go through there. And that is all closed off. Okay, now I remember there being a box on the shelving unit there. So that's interesting. Let's see, is the janitor this way here? Don't mess with the beehive. We've got rock climbing right now. Dude, this is insane, and we already know that Nugget's gonna make this into some kind of pit in time. This tree is quite large, it has a beehive hanging precariously from a branch. We don't need to shake it right now, but when someone's underneath it, you know. I see a break in the fence here. Wait, what is this? We can go back. 
this is where it is. Finally, you had me worried, kid. No way I'd be able to move all these poor corpses by myself. Yeah, this is great. You did bring the body, right? Yep. Good. Now we just need to toss them in the dumpster and this is all over. What the? It's locked. Who locks the dumpster? We gotta get it open somehow. We need... Go. What the? Who is this shit? <laughs> Hey, kid, do you hear that? Or are the voices in my head getting a little too vocal again? No, I heard it. Huh? I think someone is there. We got to get it from him. Any ideas? Well, we've got like a back entrance. Hold up. I can look at this. The door leads to the principal's office. It is locked. Okay. Now we've got a four-leaf clover here. If we take it, maybe we can offer it to the dude. Okay, we can't, but we've got to find this, okay? It's a dumpster. It sounds like someone is laughing inside. Bang on the dumpster. Wait, could have I just done this? <laughs> Who's banging on my dumpster? Oh, great. A dumpster woman. Everything was going so well. What do you nice people want? Do you want to give me some food? This woman is insane. I like this. Well, you just need to use the dumpster, you old hag. Well, there's a price you'll need to pay. I need something. Something more special than food. I'm running out of this delicious green drink. You wouldn't happen to have any green goo on you. I didn't need the four-leaf clover. I needed to get the juice on the floor. Why would we need any of that? That's gross. Well, until you come back with some green goo, this dumpster stays locked. Ta -ta. Curse you, dumpster hag. God dang it, dude. Well, at least I know what I gotta do. Just gotta speak, kid. Without that goo, I'm going back to prison. Why don't you just kill her? Let's uh, let's ask that one. Hold up a second. Spoken like a dumb kid who's never tangled with a dumpster woman before. That's a mistake Will you only make once. I'm gonna go find some goo. Yep, and I'm also gonna restart. Okay, take the glob. This is what the lady wanted. So now if we get the rest of the steps done, we should be okay, I think. Okay, so it was what we needed. I actually have some. There we go. Oh, delightful. Go right ahead and dump whatever suspicious item you need to. Thanks, dumpster hag. My pleasure. You boys have a nice day. So we're done, right? Everything's gone. <laughs> well done, kid. Looks like we're gonna get away with this. I'm thrilled. There goes the bell. There's the bell. Looks like it's time for you to go home, my little apprentice. Go ahead and leave the body here. I'll do the rest. So we leave the body. That's it. We actually completed all of the janitor's objectives. Everyone leaving school, not a single kid. Well, actually, no, a few of them died, didn't they? But we left school, no one knows. Wait, hold up. Hey, kid, wait up. Here we go. I did want to hear a bit about this. And I love how no one questions his bloody state. Oof, almost missed you. Please don't kill me. Kill you? I ain't gonna kill you. Well, not today, at least. So what do you want? For your dedicated service today, I would like to bestow upon you the spoils of war. What are you talking about? I got some good stuff off of Bubba's body. Some cash, a watch, some kind of medication, and this. Freak. Another one of the Monster Mon cats, and we got like a satchel. It's a tool belt. I don't fix nothing around here anyway. You can also have this thing from that silly card game your kids play. Little guy kind of looks like me. <laughs> now, Scat, if a parent sees me talking to a child, I'm going back to prison. Uh -huh. okay, now, why was you in prison in the first place? All right, so he gets out of here. Dude, this is awesome, this game. So, like, now through progression and being that thing, we have a tool belt. If we take that to school, we can bust out of all sorts of good stuff. New item unlocked, Bob's tool belt, new clothing, the strict something. And we got four Monster Mon cards, dude. So we're at five right now. I love this game so much. I can't express how happy I am that this game is coming together so good. Oh my gosh. Well done on completing your first mission. You now can bring the item you unlocked to school whenever you want. How? Head over to the shelf by the door. You can select up to three items to bring. Check your mission map to see which ones go with a specific mission. Got it. That's really nice, man. So if I take this, hold up a second. I just want to see. We then go back to the help section in the mission map and we can see maybe where the satchel comes into play. Like, I guess it's saying with the satchel, we can do either this mission here or this one here with Nugget. This game is really something, dude. Like, I'm seeing small things as well. Like, that looks like maybe the four-leaf clothes that we need to bring and I'm guessing that all of the arms that we collect over time I think they'll amass to like a big secret we can unlock with this game but before we end this episode let's see the monster mods we got this one in the top corner bucket of water deals two damage plus two damage if your discarded card is blue reduce a red monster mods damage by one let's get equipped this one here the chair of spikes deals four damage and reduce any monster mods cards damage by one uh, each of these have like a nugget picture in the bottom so I wonder if that's who we play monster mon with let's see this one here lamb with cleaver gain three mana if your last discarded card is red and block a purple monster mod. Going in the deck. Last one here. Mr. Nice Guy. Humanoid. Deal 4 HP if your last discarded card is red and block a purple monster mon. He's a nice guy capable of wooing my lady. <laughs> okay, we're gonna throw him on the deck. Man, I, I can't stop smiling with this game. It's great. Alright guys, well that is the first mission done in all of this stuff. That was a lengthy mission too, which is what I really like about this game. It's not like 10 minutes and you're done. For now though guys, this episode is gonna conclude here. Now, I'm not sure if I wanna do the Hitman's Bodyguard or Potty Guard, should I say, or if I wanna do Flowers for Diana. I I guess I'll have a think on that because like I don't think it really matters how we do these They're all gonna be really fun This one would teach us more about the new scientist teacher So we might even find like maybe some things about the green goo and I still want to know a bit about that because 
the daughter did fall over. We didn't find her, but we saw that trail of green goo going upstairs. We might get more context in that case here, or maybe after we saw the green goo. Had we gone upstairs, we may have found like a corpse or something. The Hitman's Potty Guard, this one is all about a completely brand new set of missions as well. Two new characters, so we'd learn more about these. But all right then, guys, this is going to be part two of Kindergarten. Again, our first mission done, and a decent amount of unlocks to it. I'm really enjoying this, and I hope you guys are too. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.